Hurricane Ida has shown us the value of a flexible and fast moving safety net. And that is Feed the Second Line. What we're doing is hiring musicians from New Orleans and sending them down to visit different neighborhoods down in the town of Chauvin and Montague, Louisiana. When the musicians go down there, they're bringing the most desired items, gasoline, ice, coolers, batteries, blue tarps. The other thing that they're doing is they're visiting the same people every time they go. And what that does is it creates a personal relationship. We're building trust. And in the community, we can then ask them, hey guys, what would y'all actually like? And we'll find it and bring it back to you. It's been really great for us um, because of the fact that we're able to get out and help people. First of all, you know, a lot of people in need down there right now. So we, we know that feeling because we been we New Orleans and so we've been through a lot of that kind of hurricane stuff. So we know that feeling. It's been giving us a chance to be able to work and make some money um, during this time too. A lot of the music industry is not really 100% up and running. So it's a big help for us, you know, in, 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 in that way. Make my heart so full by helping people. And I think it's a real beautiful job they're doing for their culture and for the people in out of work, especially musicians. Please consider continuing to support Feed the Second Line by becoming a monthly donor and helping us continue to employ musicians because they really need work and also help support the culture bearers of our city and our neighbors in South Louisiana. We got to keep the music alive, man. We got to keep the culture alive. We got to pass it down to the younger generation, you know, so we want to keep it healthy. And, you know, this is one of the ways that we can do that.